I'm appalled at what you said on that pod thing. It's disgusting. This is the After the Show podcast. It's where we get honest and real with yo ass. So sit back, relax, have a blast, because it's time for the After the Show podcast. Yeah, hello, and welcome to the KBJ After the Show podcast. First Monday of the new year. Today is also National Clean Your Desk Day. It's also uh, National Bubble Bath Day. Yes, it is. Oh. What do you want for later? I need to do a video for the show. You just tell me what you I'd want. I'd rather see you in a bubble bath than see you clean your desk. Yeah. Clean your desk All day right. sucks. I'll give you something sexy in the bubble bath. Promise? Oh, it's absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> You need to take a Viagra first. I want to see what that looks like. What? Before and after. Whoa, I am is curious. Going You're going you too far, Sinicky. What does I'm it do? You said it makes you like better than you've ever been. Cialis. You get a raging boner. That's what it does. Cialis and Vi- yeah, Viagra. They give you a, 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 a raging boner. But what do you do with your husband? Why do I have to get involved? He don't need it. Oh, I don't need it either. But I'm, what I'm saying is, it just it works because it brings you to your your optimal I mean it just well from the way that you made it sound it was like it gave you like magic extra I I can I can see when you're older and you need help I can see it it, it working for like a regular guy does it give you magic extra well every guy's dong I think you have the embarrassing stages where you could be like oh my gosh it looks like I got infant cock or you could be all the way to my gosh I look like a porn star and you've (laughs) You know, been anywhere in between. So, you know, I think that's that's most guys. Yeah, I it just brings out your best. Yeah, I wouldn't say it, it adds anything, but what I'm saying is it just it you're always at your best. Mm-hmm. You're, yeah. you're you're you're, al- you're always shooting threes, and you're, you're always you're always sinking them. Yeah, you're in the zone. You're in the zone. It's you're good as you can possibly zone. get. Bone zone. Yeah, that's what it is. Brace yourself, honey. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what you get. So, yeah, so it uh, is that uh, amazing little Monday here getting this thing going on. Virginia's off for a colonoscopy here afterwards. It's okay, and there goes that boner. <laughs> Bring it right back down. What's the opposite of Viagra? <laughs> Virginia's colonoscopy. It's called dick inside you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> mm. Your penis wants to crawl inside. All right. Uh, Laura said Virginia needs to be very careful. She needs to be home on the last phase of drinking that liquid because you will be in the bathroom for a while. No, I'm not. I haven't eaten since Saturday, and I did this on purpose. Okay. Because I didn't want to be shitting my brains out at work, and I certainly don't want to get there to the place and have any issues. Oh, so yeah. no. I stopped eating on Saturday. Boner's definitely gone, Kim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You look like that guy who jumped in the water at the Bass Pro Shop in Alabama. <laughs> Button cock. Dick inside him. Yeah. I mean, boy, man, it's really turned real quick. I, I, I'm, I'm so flushed out. I, I'm, the only thing that's coming out is water. Okay. Okay. Cheryl said, uh, yeah, when I got my colonoscopy, it is the best sleep for sure. They just wake you up too soon. No problem eating afterwards. There's no pain, but you do have to pass gas before you can leave in a room with other people. What? I have to fart in a forum? In front of an audience. Wait a minute. No one told me this shit. Hey, look, don't get stage fright. I have to fart in the round? And then they they rate it. (laughs) They give you a grade. If you want to leave, do not get stage fright. I'm definitely making a video. That, is that is that made up or is that a real thing? No, somebody else had uh, commented on that earlier that you, they want you to fart before you leave. In front of a room, a panel, and I mean, like they hold up cards like the Russian judge gave you a ten. Yes, that's like, it. Like, yeah, like The Voice or American Idol. That's it. <laughs> well, you had pretty good resonance on that one. You're going on to the next round with that fart. You really made it your own. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you everything as much as you can handle. Oh, yeah. Chat room's confirming it. Like, you got a fart, girl. Uh, I mean. You had a big Monday. I did. You have a real big Monday ahead of you. I told you, this is a lot to do on a Monday. 
Dude, this was one of the few appointments I could get. So I wanted the special doctor because it's a female and she's got small hands and she stays booked. <laughs> I, I don't, think, I don't think they put their hands up there. Well, I don't know. I'm going to be knocked out. You really don't know. <laughs> no. But, but go on. Well, just in case she has to, I don't know, grab something she forgot. What? I don't want. Like her lunch? <laughs> like a tool or something. Where's my stethoscope? Maybe she leaves something up there accidentally and has to go in and retrieve it. I want the smallest hands possible. Just let her be crazy because I think, yeah. Okay, go on. <laughs> so this lady books out. I booked this in October. I went and set this all up back in October because I turned 50 in July and I was like, oh, got to do it, got to do it, got to do it. Put it off till October. And this was the first appointment she had available. Well, Wooden Stash Dave in our chat room says you're in a room waiting for the effects of the anesthesia to wear off. All the people in the room are farting. You no, do, you really? Have, you have a really big Oh, my day. gosh. You I gotta... want a private room, damn it. Oh, man. I don't want to be in fart arena. You, do me a favor. Make sure after all this, get yourself a nice meal. You <laughs> earned it, kid. No, because now I'm feeling skinny and my, my stomach is all shrunk. And I'm going to go back on semaglutide for a few weeks because I put on too much holiday weight. So I don't want to have a big meal. So you're basically in this fart battle. Yeah. Lee, fart for them. Well, Lisa said they fill you with air. So what? you're bloated after, so you got to get that air out. They so. blow you up like a party balloon? I guess so, yeah. I think you underestimated your Monday. I don't know what is entailed in a colonoscopy. And I purposely didn't go online. I didn't read about it. I kind of don't want to know. Like, if I'm asleep, knocked out, and you, you're rooting in my ass, I, I kind of don't want to know all the intimate details. Life's a little bit better with a su surprise or a mystery to it. Some, you see what I'm saying? I just don't want to know everything because I don't want to be worried about everything. And if I know everything, I'll be worried about everything. Well, we'll be thinking about you. But now I'm worried about the fart forum. Well, you you, you got to <laughs> battle up, girl. Oh, you got to get ready. What am I wearing? Do I, do I wear one of those awful hospital gowns? What does one wear to a fart battle? <laughs> <laughs> and if I fart the fastest, do I get out of there the fastest? Well, that would be it. If, if it's a thing where it's you a race, can't yeah. leave until they go, sorry, you can't leave until you, you fart, that would get, that'd be in my head. I guess I'll bring some beans. Don't get, wow. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody said, anytime you get anesthesia, they make you fart. And believe me, you want to fart. Huh. What? Something about no. anesthesia makes you want to fart. I've had lots of anesthesia. Me too. I bet that doesn't mm. sound familiar to me. I've had a okay. lot of anesthesia in my time. Me okay. too. You want to have an anesthesia off? I'm kind of, you know what? I'm going to let you have today because today's your day. <laughs> I'm going to let you have today. <laughs> say it about the bird. It's about the witch. Yeah. And the fart forum. Do, do we send her cookies later? I feel like uh, a celebration is intact. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to eat for the first thing, Virginia? Do you have plans? I don't know. Well, I haven't been able, for the past week, I haven't been able to have any salads, raw vegetables. There's like a whole list of things you can't eat. Okay. Nothing with seeds, nuts, grains, because I guess all that stuff can get stuck up there and doesn't process as quick, mm -hmm. and then they can um, mistake it for a polyp. Okay. I wasn't allowed to have anything with pulp. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm probably going to have a nice big fat salad because it's good for me, and I haven't been able to have salad for a week. I'm finally going to go. I'm, I'm tapping out of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're leaving. <laughs> I don't know. You lost me with nuts and polyps. Nuts and seeds and polyps. <laughs> I had uh, gone through my body scan that uh, I got at uh, Life Imaging FLA and uh, was asking if anybody knew what uh, some of the things were that uh, it had said. Yes. Yeah, and Engineer Keith, he said, I had the same problem as you guys after getting uh, my scan to interpret the results. So what I did, I just copied and pasted them verbatim into ChatGPT. Make sure you don't put any personal information in there, but then, you know, it will kind of give you an explanation as to what the lingo meant. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, thought about that. I think I'll uh, probably do that. And, uh, Charlene, she sent this in because the one was, uh, they were talking about my thoracic spine. 
and uh, degeneration. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound good. She said, yeah, it's basically the middle part of your spine, and degenerative basically just means you're getting old. So it's normal. Yeah, right. I'm shrinking. I think you look great. Thank you. I feel great. <laughs> so I do appreciate that. I don't know. The scan says different. Degenerate, Kev. Yeah. Well, it's, I guess it's way you gotta understand what they're saying. Just says, dude, you're getting old, man. Yeah, mine had a bunch of stuff like that too about my spine, but I'm gonna give it to my sister and say, translate this. Mm-hmm. Oh man, my spine. It would just come back. It's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to go do this more than me and Kevin. Mm-hmm. Dead man Walker. <laughs> yeah, Dead Remy. by Easter. <laughs> Dead by Easter is the new one. <laughs> to answer uh, Remy's question, yeah, what you do then is you take that to your doctor. They give you the scan, and then you'll take it to the doctor, and he can look it over and say, okay, so here's what's going on inside of you, and then they'll know. So gotcha. anyone with a medical de- degree would be like, oh, okay, I know what all this means. So that's that's the point of it. So. They look under the lid for you, and then they give a printout that you give to your doctor. We still don't have a primary care physician because ours retired. It has been very hard for us to find a primary care doctor. I have been trying to go to the doctor for many things. Mm -hmm. I had one that my girlfriend just sold it to me, and I was like, okay, she sounds perfect. And then she goes, she's in Green Acres. I'm like, fuck. Green Acres? I can't drive to Green Acres. I'd, have, I'm, I'd rather just say, you know what? I'll just I'll take my chance of dying. <laughs> <laughs> because if I had to drive to Green Acres on a rag, I would be in such a pissy mood. I'm a little bitch when it comes to that shit. <laughs> We're choosing death over driving to Green Acres. If I am going west on Green in Green Acres, my day has turned gravely fucked. I agree. Yeah. I, What's only only thing worse is Wellington. Oh, I'm in Wellington. <laughs> Things are not going great. But Greenway, I mean, Green Acres is just the gateway to Wellington. They're all the same to me. If I have to go to one, it's just as bad as the other. They're far. Or Southern Super West, Southern Boulevard. Oh. oh. Anything past Military Trail, I'm pissy. I got uh, some column outs here. Uh, Jenna said, yeah, today I really need to call out the Dolphins. I adore Tua as a person, just not thinking he's our franchise quarterback. Now we're headed to Kansas City, where Tua has never won a game in freezing temperatures. But our boy uh, Christian Wilkins was on effing fire last night. They better give that guy a big contract. They better because all the other teams are looking at him. Trust me, my husband and Uncle Bill were salivating watching him and and discussing, oh, he's going to be a free agent possibly. Mm. If They said the Dolphins can't afford Christian. I don't know what that means. Well, they've got to restructure some stuff. This was really the year that they needed to – win the Super Bowl, and they've just got so many dang injuries. Um, somebody was actually calling out the strength and conditioning crew from the Dolphins because they've been non-contact injuries. If you look at uh, Jalen Phillips, he wasn't doing anything. He was just getting ready to get off the line, and his boom, he uh, snapped his Achilles. And then uh, Chubb, kind of the same thing. He wasn't really – nobody touched him. He just and tore his ACL. So sometimes when that happens, they blame the strength and conditioning. I don't know if it's fair. I won't go to that part, but that's what fans do when your players start getting a lot of injuries, especially when they're non-contact like that. They're like, you know, they got to make sure these guys are pliable, that they're in game ready condition, and maybe they overlook something. So the play he made not only was it a really awesome, cool play, yeah. not an easy play to do, but it was clutch. Mm-hmm. He made that when the Dolphins really needed a turnover like Big time, that. yeah. He came through. He did his part. That's what you need. You need that kind of pivotal play when they're about ready to score a touchdown and Christian Wilkins comes in and strips the ball from the Bills quarterback, and that is the kind of stuff that put that into a halt, and now, okay, that turns a game. And so he did what he's supposed to do. Yeah, I was very happy to see They better that. figure out how to pay him because every other team wants him. Yeah, somebody came with a good idea. Just pay two or less. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure Tua's cool with Take that. your money and put it over here. Yeah, it's, you know, Tua throwing that pick last night. You know, a lot of people are just saying Tua's not real clutch. He's not the guy that's going to get the job done. He's functional. And he's a sweet pig. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. We but, love him as yeah. a human. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where the uh, Dolphins go because there are going to be a lot of good quarterbacks available in the NFL draft, whether or not the Dolphins will go after someone else or not. 
Uh, Cynthia said, yeah, I know you haven't seen it, Kev, but I won't spoil it. But the uh, end of the third quarter, Christian Wilkins with the tackle, strip and turnover. Pro Bowl what? Yeah. Pro Bowl can lick it. Yeah, he was naming an alternate, and that wasn't good enough. Six Dolphins players made it. Christian Wilkins did not. Yeah, Whatever. I disagree with that. I disagree with that, too. We all do. Mm-hmm. It's bullshit. That does suck. Uh, Jeff sent an email. He said, I heard you talking about uh, Travis Kelsey possibly – and the offseason training in Boca Raton with his trainer, Andrew. His trainer started training at uh, Johnny O's gym, which opened up in 2020. Chris Carter, who used to play with the Minnesota Vikings, he lives in Boca. He has some financial connections in the business. That's why there's a number of pros that train there in the offseason. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Chris Carter, you'll see around town. He's uh, doing some stuff now with FAU's football program. He was awesome at one point, right? Chris Carter? Amazing. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah, he's a former uh, Buckeye, Uh, so he's from Ohio originally. But, yeah, they've been uh, training a lot of NFL players since the mid-'90s, and that's why a ton of pros come here in the offseason. It is really cool. Yeah, he talked a little bit about where it is. Yeah, it's just off Northwest 2nd Avenue of Boca. You can actually see right uh, just south of Spanish River the uh, outdoor training turf. So, yeah, I always try to go there and have a reason to be like, oh, how crazy running into all these big NFL celebrities. But, yeah, a lot of them are there. So it is pretty cool. You never know who's going to be in South Florida, man. From football players to Regis. Is Regis dead? Yes, he is. (laughs) Oh, shit. Damn, rest in peace, Regis, man. I can pretty much guarantee there's one guy you're not going to see. If you see Regis walking the streets... Did you just make a zombie rage? Zombie rage. <laughs> you can't make a zombie rage. Get Get on there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're powerful, but wow, man, that's crazy. There's Damn. so many. There's so many celebrities. I can't remember if they've died or you're not. You're terrible. The uh, live or dead terrible. game. Oh. I'm going, I think we just still kicking it. Oh. Damn, I'm sad. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. You, you were sad the first time he died. Yes. You're sad again. <laughs> it's hitting harder the second time. Yeah. Did COVID get him he died during covid he did yeah damn i don't remember the cause of death i don't remember it being specifically covid i wasn't trying to be disrespectful i'm just not very good it says heart attack but okay. it was probably covid i think he died oh, yeah. in his sleep get, get that out there virginia <laughs> Daddy's got to get the emails, and he's got to redo the craziness when you say some crazy shit mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm sorry denny's and uh, Jack had said, I heard you talking about uh, it being a low of one degree in Kansas City Saturday night for the Chiefs game. Uh, I did hear they had a heater installed in 2016, so the field doesn't freeze anymore. That's good. Okay, so I thought all NFL fields now had heating under them so they don't freeze anymore for player safety, and, and they should. Is someone going to ever come back, though, and say, oh, them putting the heating system in there changes the game and they cheated this way or see what I'm saying? No, when it comes to player safety, that's paramount. And, I mean, you think about it. I, if you've ever lived up north where the ground can get really cold, it does feel like concrete and anything that's better for player safety. In fact, that's one of the complaints. Jalen Phillips, he blew out his Achilles at the MetLife turf, and a lot of people are saying that the turf on a lot of these NFL fields, the fake field turf, is bad and there is a higher, higher number of injuries these kind of non-contact injuries on the on that turf. And so they may have to get rid of their turf and strip it out. I just remember back in the day when the Minnesota Twins were good in baseball, mm-hmm. there were there were people saying there was rumors that when the Twins would be up to hit, they'd put the air condition on to produce kind of like a, its own <laughs> Human wind wow. to help the ball travel, and then when the visiting team would it'd shut the air off. Wow! No, I don't, it was never proven, but that it was it was a they do all kinds theory. of stuff. Yeah, they'll they'll do stuff like that. They've talked about uh, Notre Dame if they play a faster team than them, they'll let the grass grow higher. Yeah, there's and always that bullshit so going it's, on. So it's harder; it slows down faster players, and that's home Ooh. field advantage. You look at the Dolphins; they put their visiting bench in the sun. In September yeah, and October. That is some brutal shit right there. That's home field advantage. That's You're basically cooking your opponent like a chicken. Yeah. Uh, it's the right move, right? <laughs> that's, uh, that's all fair. There are some people that are upset because the Dolphins game on Saturday is going to be shown on the Peacock Network. The fuck? It's streaming. Yeah, it's streaming. So oh, stupid. Yeah, it's going to be harder for people to find. You and... got the cock? I do have the cock. All right, we're going to your house. I don't like it because you can't DVR it as far as I know. 
And so I, I usually like to record my games and then kind of watch it late and fast forward through commercials. Here's what I can do. I can stream it on Peacock, record it on my video, and then send you a three-hour. Hold your phone? Yeah, hold my phone okay. and just send you a three-hour <laughs> video. Three-hour text message. Yeah, it looks good sure. that way. That'll go through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, shout out to to Michigan Mike. He's in Houston right now, getting ready for the uh, Wolverines national championship game tonight. Okay. Mm. Yep. They play the Washington Huskies. Wonder what he's having for breakfast today. Texas breakfast. Something tells me it's big. Something tells me it's got lots of meat on it. I just hear they make mm. br- t- breakfast in Texas is big as shit. That's what say I'm- it fast three times. <laughs> What, you, what is it? <laughs> Texas breakfast. Texas breakfast. Texas breakfast. Texas breakfast. Texas breakfast. Texas breakfast. He said he had barbecue. Oh, barbecue is so good in Texas. I think they do a lot of beans as well, even for breakfast. Because I, I, I do like knowing what other states really like to focus in on. If you go to, mm-hmm. if you go to Pennsylvania, what do you definitely got to get there while you're there? Pierogies. Yeah, every, every area's got their thing. I don't know about Pennsylvania. What about Ohio? You go to Ohio, what do you have to eat? Bland food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not your Flavorless. Fu- not your yeah. pizza. Uh-huh. Fucking the weight of a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> the taste of nothing. The taste of they, have, uh, they have a lot of Germans uh, around Columbus. German village, so, you know, you're... Uh, Schnitzel? Yeah, you can get schnitzel, absolutely. And um, kind of up around the upper Midwest... Uh, what are those big fat sausages? Brats. Brats, yeah. You'll see like bratwurst. Okay. Kielbasa. Mm-hmm. If you're going to Lu- oh, Louisiana, bullshit. Oh, I got that andouille. Oh, crawfish. Crawfish. Any kind of fish. Sea Scrimps. Bass. Sea bass anus can. Yeah. <laughs> sea bass anus. It's actually no, there's no sea bass. Not in I, Louisiana. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Jack had also said, uh, I was just finishing eating all the holiday candy in my house, and I ate some candy canes. I don't remember Kev talking about the queen this year eating them as her main diet. Uh, she got a few, but not as many. Uh, she had a hard, She has a hard time finding them, but whenever she does, she snags them up. Really? Yeah. I have so many extra candy canes. I saw she them loves everywhere. Them. Them. I think she's adjusted her eating so she's yeah. she's not going buck wild, but yeah. with the help of pharmaceuticals, it controls your appetite. I'll tell you what I really, really got into during the holiday break, and I ate a lot of war Buckeyes. Ate a fuck ton of Buckeyes. Yeah, those are good. They're yeah. delicious. Yeah, Ohio, they, they do the sweets pretty well. You can uh, do a lot of that. Uh, he also said, I got a movie suggestion for Suits. Cannibal Run. You know, he was actually supposed to review he Smokey was. and the Bandit today. Was, yeah. And mm-hmm. you know what? Cannonball Run is impossible to find. I've been trying huh. to rent and watch Cannonball Run for the longest time. I can't find it unless it's recently been uploaded to a, uh, a forum that I don't know about. Good luck trying to find Cannonball Run. Please let me know if anyone can't find it because I love that movie. Are they hiding it on purpose? It's it's a Cannonball Two. You can find Cannonball Run Two. You can find Cannonball Run is a very hard movie to find. Huh? Yeah, it's weird. Did uh, you watch Smoking the Bandit this weekend, Bird? I forgot. Okay. So it's kind of good that Suits is a little bitch and didn't come into work today. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did he watch it? Oh. Uh-huh. We should have made him do his movie review over the phone. But then he'd have to really, really put on his sick voice. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you can't, he can't sound good. He yeah. calls it on a Monday, right. an hour before the show. Yeah. He cannot sound good. Uh-huh. He'd have to do a whole segment. Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> it was flu. Is that, I think that's what he has. Flu. flu. Yeah, I think one of his roommates had it. And so they passed it around, oh, okay. and now it's his turn to have it. Okay. I heard I heard a, cu- a couple people coughing in our sales department area, like that kind of deep phlegmy uh, going, oh, that's going to catch on to somebody. Yeah. You know, that the cubicles back there, it's germ central. I feel like the cubicles hold the germs They in. do. <laughs> when you walk by, you just get extra germs. Mm. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Jacob said on the podcast the other day, Virginia was shaming Star Jones for lying about her weight loss journey. 
And it really annoyed me because Virginia lied about having pink eye, and she won't come <laughs> clean about that. GMZ, uh, JMZ reopened the case. Damn. You know what? JMZ's got to do a lot more, and it's going to do butter <laughs> in 2024. Do butter. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of scandals going to be open this year. And Brian noticed uh, today from the regular show, so Virginia will forgive her sister for sleeping with her husband, but she gets mad about a lady wearing a dress of the wrong color to a wedding. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think my sister could basically do anything, and I'd be like, ah, you good. You're fucking insane. <laughs> you good, sis. It is odd the things that she really yeah. doubles down on. Right. And then in the same breath, we'll say some like, huh? shit. That, be kind and don't don't try to fight anybody in traffic. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you always what? give these don't get mad in, mm. on the road lectures, but then you're insane. I'm trying to fight people. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I love it. Do as I say, not as I do. It's it's pretty good. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And uh, Pedro Lopez said, I was watching the 2018 podcast and Virginia was talking about tequila and how she likes clear tequila over dark tequila because dark tequila makes her grow hairs on her tits. Yeah, that's true. No, you were just being funny. No, that's what I heard. Dark tequila makes you get hairy titties. I've never heard that. I've never heard it, Kevin. I minute. just I like light liquors too. I like a clear spirit. I don't I don't get down with the rum, the dark, the whiskeys, the bourbons, the dark anything. I don't love it. I okay. like it clear. And if you got a little few hairs on your titties, man, say love me. I did have hair on my titty at once, and I had it uh, lasered. Well, we know, we know. You had your widow's peak lasered. I did. Because cause so many people were noticing your widow's peak. You had to get that taken I out. noticed it. I didn't do it for you. I, I did it for me. I didn't say you did. Bro. I didn't do my titty for you either. <laughs> how, how old were you when you found out you had uh, HTs? Hairy titties? Yeah. Uh, I, I was pretty self-conscious about it pretty early. I think for some reason in the whole uh, fuckery gene pool I was given, I got Mexican hair and Irish skin. So I have super dark Mexican hair like my mom, and then I have super light Irish skin like my dad, when I would have rather had the opposite. I want the light Irish hair and the dark Mexican skin, damn it. So I've always been very aware of my dark hair and my white skin. It's a contrast. So I would say as soon as puberty hit. Yeah, I mean, I I had puberty pretty early. I was getting pHs right around the end of nine or beginning the ten. Ten age. That's a little fourth and fifth grade. I was getting. Yeah, I I was shaving. I believe in sixth grade. I had to start shaving facial hair. Wow. Yeah. Okay. The pHs. I mean, do I have consent to ask you about your pHs, Kev? What What age were you when you started getting? I didn't chart it. You didn't chart it. No. It was alarming to Virginia's point. When you're you're still a little kid, and all mm-hmm. of a sudden you go from being bare, and then you're like, "What the hell's going? I'm turning into a wolf." Oh, I distinctly remember. I was like, "Oh man," because I, you know, you catch glimpses of other girls in the locker room, and there were some girls in like seventh grade that had a full bush. And I didn't really have that going on. It was I a different time back then, too. But I had titty hair and no bush. It was weird. <laughs> well, that's, I was mad. That's, I remember. I, you being, should be mad. I remember being like, fuck. That's not a fair hand. I want a bush, not titty hair. Yeah. The carpet did not match the drapes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not fair. That's not hot. I don't know many guys who would take the girl with the titty hair over the bush. Yeah. It was rough. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's going to be a challenge in the dating world. <laughs> Well, you know, I used to pluck them out, and then eventually I got them razor, lasered. Yeah, so you probably got them lasered when you were 18, 19? Older than that. Okay. Yeah, it was after, because I didn't know about laser in Louisiana. They don't have that shit, or they didn't have that growing up when I was young. So there was you no would, laser. You would be self-conscious if a guy would try to round in second base, especially if it was not the hand. I'd be thinking, oh, shit, did I pluck them titty hairs? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did I leave a little stubble? I was I was really trying to be on top of it. If I thought I was around in second base with anybody, I would pluck out my titty hairs. I, I wouldn't care. Would you have cared if a girl had a little? I I don't. 
They wouldn't have. Yeah, I remember my buddy Kevin Troy. Kevin would definitely have cared. Yeah, my buddy Troy, I remember he said that he was uh, licking a girl's titties and he got a hair in his teeth. <laughs> and it forever ruined that girl for me. She's kind of hot, too. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't. I now, like, when you see her, you think titty hair. Well, it's, yeah, it's, you know, they had that whole thing where she was at, you know, you're a 10, but if you add whatever. Titty hair? Yeah. <laughs> You're a ten with a titty hair. You're you're, you're a, a seven. seven. Yeah, you're a seven. A titty hair makes takes you from a ten to a seven. <laughs> it really it's true. Me. It's it's like the girl with the lace potato chips. Yeah, right. That knocked her. That, that knocked her. Sour down. cream and onion. Sour cream and onion. Yeah. Well, the chips. Can you briefly tell, in case no one heard that story, briefly tell that story? Yeah, Quickly, just, gross us out. <laughs> Is this girl and I would uh, go to her house uh, after school every day, and uh, she would sometimes get there before me, and so she was there before me, and um, I, I knocked on the door, and right in front of her front door, up went the steps, the second level where her bedroom was, and her mom answered the door. She's like, "Oh yeah, Natalie's right upstairs," <laughs> and so right then I I see this darting out of the bathroom. And I was like, okay, I don't know what that was all about. So I go upstairs, and as I walk by the bathroom, I am just hit in the face with this wall of shit. It just <laughs> smelled terrible. I'm like, oh, my Natalie. God. Natalie. I mean, it, and you knew it smelled point. like what you would expect to come out of the back end of a Sasquatch. At that point, you knew it was her. It was hot and murky. It, just, <laughs> it was the kind of thing that, like, stuck to your skin. And I was just, my stomach was doing flips, and I walked in a room. She got her hand in a bag of sour cream and onion chips. I'm like, ah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> just, that was it, man. I couldn't even. No yeah. amount of fun finger banging. <laughs> that would was have... it, yeah. <laughs> no. It just was over for the day. Boner Done. Yeah, that was a boner killer, man. It I just... no longer want to go to second base. Nah. Not only did it ruin nah. her for you, it ruined Sour cream chips. Sour here. cream and onion chips. And if she'd have had a titty hair that day. Oh, like, oh good God. God. Just, well, you might have gone gay. Bitch, yeah. How, what, did it, what did it knock her down? You said the, uh, did it knock her down two? She went from a 10 to a four. A to a four. <laughs> it was, dude, I still got memories of that smell. I could, honestly, if you could draw up the stank, I could by memory. Oh, man. I get, it was ungodly. And, I don't know you, what happened. You guys never hooked up after that. It really, honestly, our, our it was the beginning of the end. It did not last much longer after that. <laughs> I, just, I, could, I tried to erase my memory. I tried to get it out of my head. I couldn't get it out of my head. It's crazy. It's forever scarred. It's what happens. Um, you know, I think I found out where you got that rumor from with the uh, dark titty hair drink at tequila. It was a promotional thing that Sammy Hagar, the former frontman of Van Halen, did with his Cabo Wabo tequila line, the Cabo Macho. He promoted that this uh, tequila will give you titty hair? Yeah. It says, t- <laughs> yeah. The new Sammy Hagar tequila puts too much hair on your chest. And... They said that customers were reporting a drastic increase in coarse black body hair. It's making you a man, but apparently they were saying the same thing maybe for women. You don't want to drink that because you'll get coarse black body hair. So now, was that real or were they just saying that? Is that they were just saying that. I, I can tell oh. it's tongue in cheek because you got a chemist from UC Berkeley who is trying to isolate the hair growing power of Cabo Macho to no avail. He said, I can't figure out why this stuff is making people hairier than Danny DeVito. But he said it with a <laughs> smile. So I think it was just a whole joke. That's how they marketed it, saying that the Cabo Macho well, Reposado would put hair on your chest. I'm not drinking any of it. I don't care if it's fake. I don't care if it's marketing. I'm scarred because I had— You, be- you believe the hype. Yeah, I had young girl titty hair, and I don't ever want to go back. Well, first of all, I believe Panda would not care if you had titty hair. I think he'd love you for death to do his part, right? I don't think Panda would like titty hair. No. No, I don't think I don't even love it, but I don't think it would be a deal breaker. Nobody loves it. Yeah. That's that, that, that's not true. Only a Sith speaks in absolutes. There's definitely somebody out there that likes titty hair. Nobody dateable likes titty hair on their girl. I'm just letting you know there's 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 a, a, a seat for every ass out there or an ass for every I don't want to date the kind of guy that I, wants titty hair. I know you don't. What I'm saying is you can't when it comes to all that stuff, that's the one world you cannot live in absolute. What what doesn't turn you on could turn somebody else on. I know. You know all about this freaky stuff cuz you're always on them internets. <laughs> no, that's got nothing to do with the <laughs> vanilla vanna. It's got nothing to do with that. <laughs>
because I'm always on the internet. I hate the internet. <laughs> Gosh, we were in a uh, divey place yesterday, and uh, we went in there. You just go into a place, and it smells. It smells like your grandma's house. Yes. Oh, it was just, whoa. Where were you? What were you doing? It was, uh, Cannon had a football camp at uh, St. Thomas Aquinas in uh, Fort Lauderdale. And so there was a dive, looked like, you know, like a uh, Latino food. And so my wife's like, oh, she loves a good dive. A dive bar with, like, ethnic food sometimes is some of the best food you'll get. A, d- a dive restaurant or a dive bar? This is a, a dive bar restaurant. And I'll tell you, here, here's a couple things. You know, in fact, this pretty much yesterday summed out the good and the bad. We started off, and I'm like, let's go to Riverside Market because we haven't been here for a while. And by the way, that place is unbelievable. If you love craft beer, you have to get to Riverside Market. It is just uh, north of Davy Boulevard, just a little bit uh, east of I-95. you got to drive through a neighborhood. You're like, where the hell am I going? And I haven't been there for a couple of years. As I was driving there, I'm like, wait a minute. Am I going the right way? Where the hell are we going? Then all of a sudden, you got this little hipster market. And you go in there, and it's just coolers of craft beer, and it's stuff you haven't seen anywhere else. Wow. And we were in there at 11 a.m. The place was packed. And I couldn't even believe it. Like, you would think, because they always say location, 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 right, when it comes to a place. No, not on this. This we is went a there. destination. Yes, and it looks like you're in someone's garage. Wow, that's cool. That's kind of what's like. They got random mismatching furniture all over the place. They that's got what lots you of good at. parking. Uh, yeah, they had enough parking. Yeah, but it was the lot was getting full. That is a definite go. So we're kind of riding high saying, okay, this is a dive type thing. And then the queen picked out this place right across uh, the street from where we were. And like I said, I, I can sniff out a dive that is awesome and a dive that is not. And you walked in and the smell, it was just like old, musty, eh. There was no one at all in there. We were the only people when we walked in. Uh, we went to the bar. There wasn't a bartender, and the girl was like, I don't know. We might have drinks. I don't know. And I was like, <laughs> we might have drinks. Yeah. At the bar, we might? It was just like, uh, <laughs> so we're sitting there, and, and the queen's trying to order this, this, and that. They didn't have anything. And then she tries to order some food. They didn't have this, this, and that. And I'm like, all right. So I, I, the smell was overpowering to the point. Ooh. I'm like, all right, I got it. Like I was trying stank? to. I was trying to. Con- it smelled like your. Gra- if you ever gone into an old person's house that has that musty. Yeah. It kind of it, it had that smells like smell. Pre-death. Yeah, and you know the queen lost her sense of smell during COVID, so it didn't phase her. She still can't smell. Still can't smell. Still can't smell. Damn. So she is in there, and I'm like, all right. So I was trying to go through something. I'm trying to figure. Out. I got to concentrate. I couldn't concentrate the smell, so I went out of the car. So. I come back in about maybe five, ten minutes later, and by the time I have, there's this dude sitting at the end of the bar with these the hairiest knuckles I've ever seen in my life. Just hairy. They were the shortest, fattest fingers I think I've ever seen. And he, he came up, and the, and the queen was talking to somebody on the phone. He's like, you know what? I should have figured she was with somebody. I just bought her drink, and I wouldn't have. Because I didn't know she was going to drink the best stuff at the bar. Because I gave like 30 bucks and I barely got any change back. And Ooh. then he started telling me about how beautiful my wife was and Ooh. how lucky I was. And he kept touching me with them hairy knuckles. And oh. touched you? Yes. He's like kind of rubbing down my arm. And I'm like, I'm just what like, What is I going the, on? I felt like I was in a, you ever have a weird dream that you just want to get out of? It's like I was in a weird dream sequence. Every night. And I'm like, I'm like, can we get the fuck out of here? Like, I can't, I can't deal with this. So yeah, so she got uh, got her cocktail to go, or a little margarita. But I gotta tell you, right around the corner, there was an amazing taco place. It's painted red, white, and green. It's all Mexican, authentic. We got tacos there. That was legit. And that's right, just a bit uh, west of 95. Would you rather deal deal with his hairy knuckles or hairy titties? I'm just I'm kidding. It was close. Because honestly, yeah. <laughs> At least with the titties, there's a titty. I mean, that. that Harry is, Knuckles, you just got man hands. That is weird. Someone you just meet at a dive bar has got their hands all over you. And wait, so she just got the drink that he bought for her yeah, and then y'all left? I, I think what happened, because she was on the phone, she ordered a drink and he's like, I'll pick it up. I'll pick up the tab because she was sitting there by herself because I was out in the car. She was the weak gazelle. But he didn't have any idea that she went top shelf. She had the most expensive shit they had. So I'm like, thanks for buying the drink, dude. Oh, boy. And, but then he came over and wanted to let 
let me know that he had his eyes out for her and how beautiful she was, and I better take care of him. I'm like, all right. Was he just, trying to bust that three-way? I No, I don't know what he was doing. It just was. You should have uh, said, like, you know what? Right. I'm going to pay for this drink, and we're going to go. Was he thinking this is a cuckolding situation? I don't know what was going on, but it just weirded me out, and I'm like, I got to get the fuck out. It was just that had the weirdest vibes. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't sound weird. No. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, not all dives are awesome. By the way, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I totally agree with you. Yeah, Not all dives are well, awesome. Even some of those shitty places that are divey looking restaurants. Yeah. I know some of them can make good food, but some of them are dirty as fuck, and that's gross. I don't yeah. like when a place is dirty and they got food there. So within the same block, you had one massive miss and then a huge hit. So just kind of warning you. And what's the exit there off 95? It's uh, Davey. Davey, okay. Just uh, west of an You make a left on Harry Knuckle and... <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know what it... But some places also, too, they just had... They draw and just... Oh, yeah. I could tell that place just... It was a magnet. Yeah. It, it, it called the to him. dudes. Yeah, it did. It called to him, and that's where he was going to go. So... All right. Well, thank you for the emails. You can always get them through to us. Mail at kvjshow.com. Y'all enjoy your Monday, Virginia. Good luck with your colonoscopy. Yes. We'll be thinking about you. I'll be making you a video, and I will be sending you everything, and I think you know what I mean. Sweet. Very cool. <laughs> Maybe we can go watch it at that dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Yeah. All right, y'all. We'll see you later. Goodbye.